All right. <clears throat> so, we have the solution. I guess I can't guarantee that, but if, if this doesn't fucking fix it, we're fucked. The Conquest is never going to run. Uh, yeah. That's right. Micro Squirt. Brand new. Out the door. $380 plus like a $20 adapter because it uses like... Let me do this thing. It plugs in with this little guy. That's how it does the data shit. And then you had to get an adapter to USB. So, but yeah, it's uh, the micro squirt with an eight foot harness for, yeah, it was like 380 bucks or something like that. Yeah, 383. So, I will be doing that in the Fiero. Uh, I found out I can get one from uh, Wide Open Throttle. So, for, I think it's like basically 400 bucks. So, that is definitely going to be happening in the Fiero, for sure. As long as this works out good, yeah. I guess. Um, but I don't see why not. And this thing has, like, all this stuff. Pretty much, you can already... It's it's ready to hook up to E85. Um, it has all, the, like, the launch control and all that shit still in it. Does it have boost by gear in it? Or no? That'd be on the programming. It should, because it'd just be the boost controller. Okay, yeah. Sweet, so then we're going to have that. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully this is the solution. And the good part is, this is like, we'll basically just be able to run this harness right into the engine bay and then run them straight to the things. Um, and you're going to do a different coil pack thing, aren't right? Yeah, got to get it tomorrow. So, uh, he's going to do, uh, what is it, a Volkswagen? A Volkswagen coil pack setup. So, that's going to be the game plan for the coil. We're going to do away with uh, the power transistor and the coil pack set came off the 4G63, right? That's all built in on yeah. the Volkswagen. Yeah, so it'll be a lot easier. Plus, it's we have the wiring diagrams for the Volkswagen one, whereas that one, we're just kind of making up shit, so. Pretty much. All right, let's, uh, I guess, what are we going to do? Try and see how far we can get? Yeah, let's see if we can get most of it wired in. So, yeah, we're going to try and get most of it wired in. This thing's fucking impressive, though. Like, this thing is... It's so light, too. What uh, the fuck? Weight reduction. Dude, that's cool. Even all the freaking pins are labeled on the back of that. Dude, this shit is... Yeah, it's got this so you know what everything does on there. Like, look at this thing. That's insane. Like... And it's waterproof. Fuck? Yeah. After you plug this in. Yeah, that's a freaking nice-ass connector. That's, uh, that's a connector. Damn. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't get one of these, like... Oh man, I why, wasted money on the old one. Why Why did we buy HP tuners? Like, you know, we needed it for the Calic. Speaking of that, why the fuck are you in the CTS? Uh, the Vill needs oil. And I didn't have oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Cadillacs, I hate them. But, oh yeah, and then, uh... I also got this in the mail. I got new uh, tripods for these. I got three of these. I think it was like eleven dollars. So I have two more after this. Jesus. The problem I'm thinking I'm gonna run into is uh, these cases. This one, the top one up here is broke, and then the bottom one's starting to break too. I can see where it's cracked. So I'm just gonna have to get some hella epoxy. Yeah, pretty much. It's just probably from dropping it, because that other one kept freaking disconnecting at the top and falling. That's just magic. Thing. So, but, all right. Uh, enough yapping on. Uh, let's, uh, get to getting. All right, we'll start in here. We just ran it in there. I split up the loom. We went through. We found out what needs to go into the car and then what needs to go to the engine bay. Um, and then right there, I didn't cut none of the wires. We just pretty much just wrapped them up in case we ever so need those wires for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, so then like on this side, we've got coolant and boost control. Um, right here is gonna be for the cam. 
Right here we've got the sensor grounds and the 5 volts. And then over here we have the IAT, the ignition A and B. And then uh, throttle positioning sensor signal. And then here we have um, MAP and uh, flex fuel. So pretty much that's, that's the gist. Now we just got to get them all hooked up. And then like so like the 5 volts has got to get split up between, um, what is it here, TPS, MAP, and CAM. We went through and we like marked them with the handy dandy um, label maker that Paul bought. By it. Or his dad. My parents. Dad got Good him. Good people. Good peoples. Should should meet them. Great peoples. Um, but yeah, and then the grounds here. We have two of them, but they have to go to like five sensors. So. Yeah, pretty much. So pretty much, what we'll probably end up doing is just splicing them and then splicing them into. However, I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess, after. But. Gotta run the crank because that's those grounds too. Is that the sensor? The crank? The crank? Position? Off the cam? Yeah, cam. That's right. The cam it. signal sensor? Yeah. yeah. That one ground that's on there, that's got to yeah. get around to the mega square ground. Yeah, so... you think they would have made this a lot bigger. What, the ground? Yeah. It's only like... I don't even know if it's 14 gauge. Like 16 or 18. It's probably 16. 18 small. Yeah. But yeah, it's still kind of small. But yeah... So that's where we're sitting at. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, keep going. I'm never going to be able to stop saying so. I've come to this conclusion. It's just never going to happen. Give up. I gave up already. That was one one episode, and then I gave up. <laughs> um, but all right, guys, let's uh, keep going. Well, it's pretty much, I guess, where we're going to end. Uh, we've pretty much for this day. super excited to wire, so it's all routed and everything. Um, now we just got to pretty much wire it up and everything. Pretty you much know, wired, but we got to wire it. It's pretty much wired, but it's not even close to being wired, so kind of a big deal. But, uh, yeah, this is just going to be day one, um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Nice clip future me all right guys so sucks. wisconsin has screwed paul once again it's i guess this one paul was out here earlier and apparently this one had fallen onto the vehicle that's why it's like covered in fucking uh death so and like this side over here we got it on the ground as well so yeah this don't ever buy a tent off eBay. I guess that's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, It'd be fine if you if the weather didn't suck every day. Um, we didn't have hurricanes. It'd be fine if you didn't want it to shelter what you're trying to shelter. Well, if we were in a Safely. different state, it'd be fine. But Wisconsin is not made for Wisconsin. Anywhere that has wind, don't get the eBay one. Yeah. If you have wind and it blows over houses, don't buy that tent. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We'll get this disaster cleaned up here and uh, as good as we can, put a band-aid on it and uh, then we'll try and continue the wiring. Okay guys, we're done. As you can tell, it's a fucking windstorm, Wisconsin! But yeah, now we just gotta clean up the mess that it made by blowing over all this shit. Um, but yeah, there it is. All we did was uh, pretty much take them off and we pounded a, uh, I don't even know what size that is, probably like inch and three quarter, two inch or something like that, uh, PVC piping over. Kind of like we did the fix over here, so. But yeah, now she's fixed. Got at least two more weeks out of her. 
till the next windstorm and it collapses again. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get this mess cleaned up and then we will start the wiring again. Woohoo! All right, guys, uh, kind of got it cleaned up. Uh, we're probably gonna run to O'Reilly's, Home Depot, the whole nine yards. Um, but yeah, so Paul got the Volkswagen uh, coil thing, and then uh, we're gonna, we're probably looking at mounting it like so. Mount it right there on the firewall. I think that'll look good. So, we're gonna do that. Be right back. Bit of the Fiero. Intake is done. Got that piece on there, good to go. So uh, the only last thing we need now is the IAT that gets threaded and I'll thread it in on this side, on the underside, and shorten up this wire and then we're good to go. So, and I still gotta change out external wastegate to three or four pounds. But back to the Conquest. Well, little update video. Uh, I just bolted down this. Uh, new boots on there. I think that's already been worn over. I just put the threaded in IAT back here. Um, and then it's like routed right to there. Um, but yeah, so, uh, it's ready. And then we did the vacuum line as well for the boost gauge. And that's ran into the inside there and going to the boost gauge, obviously. Well, this has actually got like an electronic boost thing, but it's going to that. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, pretty much ready to make boost. Um, and as, oh, I put the three or four pound wastegate spring in there as well. So that's where we're sitting at. And, uh, yeah, just a little bit of update stuff. Um, most of that got done in the, um, a live stream, so, because it was just little stuff, so. Just figured I'd make an update for those, so that way they didn't, if they didn't see it, then now that you know, so. There we go. Here we come, boost. Right, so we got the, well, I guess we'll do the quick update. Uh, IAT throttle positioning sensor, MAP sensor, uh, E85, uh, fuel, flex fuel sensor is in. Um, right now we're working on the cam positioning sensor and we had to weld, or not weld, <laughs> uh, solder in, uh, what is it, a 1K? Yeah. A 1K uh, resistor. And uh, yeah, so basically power goes in and then it will flow, slow it down on the way out, from what I can understand. Right? Is it, is it slowing down on the outside, going out or coming in? It's getting power from this going through, and then it's like sending it an hour. That's Science. That's just what Mega Squirt said, so that's what we're doing, or Micro Squirt. So, um, but yeah, and then we, like this one's already done, as you can tell. So, so now we just gotta do that one. We gotta slide this up over there and we'll be good with that one. Now we just gotta hook up 12 volts and then the ground, which are right here, and we're done. Yeah, this guy. And then, uh, oh yeah, and then the new coil pack is right, right there. Okay. We got that one, that one's wired in. Um, and then, uh, luckily, the, I'm a hoarder, so uh, I guess it's not recommended to use a one a uh, one prong uh, sensor for coolant. So I have this one out of Grand Am. Hopefully it'll work out of like one of the spare motors I have. So hopefully it'll work and I have the pigtail as well. 
Um, and then, so then that will be coolant taken care of after this. Um, and then we also have to hook up the boost control solenoid, which is right here. So I'd imagine this pretty much just goes in line with the wastegate and turbo. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if it uses a uh, boost reference area off of the the turbo. Try that to go off the intake. The single line from there and send this. And the other one goes to the wastegate. Because usually, because like on uh, like uh, the one they had to tap it, put a thing on it, because to get the boost reference off there. I mean, maybe we can get it from over there. We'll have to do a little research. But so that's where we're sitting at. Yeah, you probably want it here so it doesn't delay it. Yeah, so it's as quick as possible. Yeah, because then it's got to go through all the piping and then, yeah. But, uh, all right, guys, we'll keep going here. Keep keep going. Get the shit done. But then all we got left is the pretty much tidy up some stuff on the inside. But at least uh, the micro squirt, like, none of that should be the issue then, I guess, after this, hopefully. So, let's keep going. Well, we just finished uh, with a little bit there. And like, what the fuck is this shit? It's been raining all day, then it was sleeting, and now it's fucking snow. God damn it. Uh, well, the good news is we're going to get Taco Bell. So fuck you, Mother Nature. We're going to get Taco Bell. Check out these new headlights. Dude, you can see way better on the phone. Put the phone in front of me so I can see. <laughs> can you see now, Paul? Like, you can see way better. What the hell? Jesus, I need freaking Samsung eyes. And now, now, now when I'm saying, oh, we can't see shit, they're gonna be like, bunch of bitches, you can see clearly. This is, this is, this is what we're living in. This is how we die. Hopefully we make it to Taco Bell and then we die on the way back. So at least we die uh, full and happy, so. I don't know if we're happy yet. <laughs> yeah, I guess we haven't heard the conquest. We can't die, because we haven't heard the conquest uh, rev up yet, so. Let's uh, go get us some fucking Taco Bell. I'm starving. This snow sucks. Where are the Taco Bells? Well, I think that's pretty much where we're gonna end this one, actually, in all actuality. Um, we'll do a live stream, but this is in the future, so tune in in the past. Um, but you guys don't know in the live stream that we got micro squirts, so. Um, but yeah, everything's pretty much done. We just gotta do the coolant sensor and stuff like that. It's pretty much one more day. And then we just gotta do some buttoning up on the inside. But uh, yeah, got quite a bit done. But uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.